What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Walking on Water. In today's episode, it's like 91 degrees out. We got the little boat pushed up under a tree right now, and we are preparing for the 4th of July weekend where we are gonna go down to the Columbia River in the Pacific Northwest, and we are gonna bonk Summer Hog Chinook on the head, and we are gonna go through, I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step today, how to set up the rod from the line all the way down to the weight, the dropper, the flasher, everything we're gonna use is gonna be covered in this video, guys. But first, check this out. A giveaway is coming up for you guys. We are going to be giving away a Lose Mach 2 Baitcaster combo, but we need to get this channel to 1,000 subscribers. Let's get that loose Mach 2 combination rod giveaway underway. We're gonna shoot a video on that coming soon, but without no further ado, sorry for wasting time, we are gonna go into exactly how to set up this bad boy so we can get you guys and your family on some big old landlocked Chinook, some summer Chinook, some Columbia River Chinook. This setup basically covers all trolling methods for buoy 10, any kind of oceanic bay, the Columbia lakes. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, so let's go over the rod, the bare bones of this setup that we're gonna go down and use on the Columbia River to bonk these giant summer kings. Okay, in front of us we have a Lama Glass Cascade Pro. It's a 12 to 25 pound rod. It is a eight, six foot long rod, and it is a heavy action rod. You can use a medium heavy, those are great too. I've just had this rod for a long time and I love using it for Chinook Salmon. It just absolutely feels great when you're fighting a fish, okay? The kind of line that I like to use, of course, paired with the line counter reel, is a 50 pound braid for the main line. We're gonna go over really fast on how to put this line on your rod and so you guys can get down there and bonk these summer kings. Okay, so as you can see here, I already have the line through. I wove the line through the eye of the reel right here and I had pulled it through the back, okay? Now, let's take this off really fast. As you can see, I have the line through the back. I'm just gonna do a simple knot here. I'm just gonna grab the line with the loop right there. I'm gonna put the line through it, just like so, and grab it. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna put it through the loop again. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull it down tight, okay? It's gonna pull that line right over there, just like so, okay? Just gonna grab my fillet knife here, okay? Tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. And then we're just gonna cut it just like that, okay? We've got the 50 pound braid cut onto the reel after we tied our little knot. And then we're just gonna start reeling. All right guys, so we have a brand new full spool of 50 pound braid getting ready to go down and bonk these summer kings. Let's get into the rest of the setup so we can go down and bonk them. All right guys, so first things first, the number one thing that's gonna go on the line is this little tiny black. This is a spinner clevis. This is actually by Yakima Baits. Um, you can use the Oregon Tackle ones. They actually already make sliders, they just don't carry them where, I'm at, where I live. Um, I would have had to order them online, which would have taken a little while, but um, they actually have the sliders with the snap swivels already in them, but this is how you make your own. This is a little Yakima bait uh, spinner clevis and just a ball bearing swivel just like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the ball bearing swivel on the clevis. There we go. Just like that. And we're gonna put it up so the locking mechanism goes on the line first so it doesn't pull out if you get snagged up, but just like so. Then we're gonna slide it on our main line. Easy peasy, just like so, okay? And this is this slider right here is the slider mechanism for our weight system, okay? We're gonna run, you, there's cannonballs. I didn't have any cannonballs on me right now, but I'm gonna pick some up, but um, here's a teardrop style weight and it's eight ounces, which is gonna be the exact amount of weight we're gonna be using down on the Columbia with a dropper with 17 pound mono or fluorocarbon, whatever, just a lighter a lighter pound test than you're using on your main line or your leader. So if you do get snagged up in the water, this thing just breaks off. This itself, I just tied my 17 pound test to the top of the weight here, just like that. And then up to a snap swivel so we can easily snap it on to the freaking sliding weight, just like so. 
so it's sliding up and down the line okay and then preferably sliding back into your b chain which we're going to set up right now okay so, so let's take the weight off just like that okay now we are going to use pro troll flashers down there as well as yakima 360 flashers as well as the short bus 360 flashers as well um as you can see i put a little tape on this one myself i like to add a little chartreuse in the summertime it just seems like the fish like green in the summer i don't know why but it's worked really well for me in the past so if you want to try it out go ahead and try it out i always encourage people to try new things it's really fun and exciting and i love it okay so we already have the bead chain i have one um attached to my uh barrel swivel up top here already and we're just gonna go ahead and tie this with a fisherman's knot or an improved clinch or whatever people wanna call it. Just the eight wraps, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. Grab the end of the line, go through the eye if I can get it here. It always seems to be a little tricky sometimes, Kate. Okay. Grab it like that and then just back through the loop and then pull it tight and then slide it down, okay? Just like so. We'll trim the tags when we're all done. So let's keep it moving. We got So we got our slider for our weight, okay? Just like that, down to our bead chain, so everything spins nicely in the water. You don't want to get a lot of line twist. That's why we use these bead chains and try to use high quality swivels. Then we're gonna go down to a, let's get it here. We're gonna go down to a Brad's three inch cut plug, just like so, okay? Now, I'm gonna go over a quick way how to set these up, super easy, okay? This is a non-slip mooching rig, the two hooks down here. If you wanna learn how to tie up this non-slip mooching rig, go over to my channel, Walking on Water. There's a video there on how to tie up this mooching rig. For the brads, I like to keep the, the circle of the hook. These are six uh Gamagatsu octopus hooks. I like to keep the loop of the hook, as you can see, the, the round bend right here, the bevel, right at the eye of the second hook. Then I slide four three millimeter beads you know, whatever color you wanna to use to your preference on the line, on the leader itself. And then I thread the brads through the small eye, through the big eye, up through that little circle, just like so, and out. And then we go down, then you attach the snap swivel to the end of the Pro Troll, just like that. Now let's look at the setup as a whole, okay? We have our sliding weight system up in front with a 17 pound test down to our bead chain, down to our pro troll flasher, down about 38 inch leader down to our Brad's killer bait. Okay, this thing is a three inch little killer bait and man oh man do the summer chinook just absolutely love these freaking things. They are gonna eat this one up in particular. Um, also the rotten banana, also some little 3.5 spinners i'll even show you the spinners here um, these are inline spinners that i just tied up myself um, they don't have the metal shaft on them uh, a little 3.5 blade down to a double non-slip moochie rig again with just five beads up above and the oregon tackle little white um, spinner inline clevis right there these are absolutely amazing ways to fish let me show you guys really fast another setup uh, with the short bus 360 flasher this is another favorite of mine we have the exact same setup just using the short bus 360 flasher like this the same bead chain inline weight down to the 38 inch leader with the rotten banana brad's killer bait on it and these things man oh man just regular old tuna and oil throw it in there if you want to learn how to tie up the brads in more detail go ahead and go over to my channel walking on water as well as there's a video on the tuna as well as the video on the non-slip mooching rig down at the bottom for the hooks okay you guys Hey, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Walking on Water. Super, super excited to go down to the Columbia River, the Upper Columbia, and bonk some big old summer Chinook on the head. And these setups, guaranteed, they will get it done this weekend, and I cannot wait to get down there. I pray to God that we just bonk some fish for you guys. We can put some in the boat. And man, oh man, I am so excited to give away the Lose Combination Rod, and it could be yours. Just get your friends and your family to like, subscribe, stay subscribed, and share the videos out so we can bump up to 1,000 subscribers. And we're giving away 
Huawei Aluz Mach 2 baitcaster combination. Again, I will put everything into the, the description below, the description below um, that we're using down there so you guys can get your family out there on the water and have some fun and actually be successful on the water because that's what we want to bring you. We want to bring you guys success on the water every time you go out and I'm sharing all the secrets, every secret that I have, you know, for these different fisheries. I hope you guys enjoy them. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.